Back and back with another YouTube video, and today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make an overlay like you see on the screen. And this overlay is pretty much gonna be a simple video, but only reason I did do this because one of my subscribers in the comment section told me to make an overlay like something else. And to be honest, I really didn't know how to do it, but I was working on it today, and I came out with stuff like this right here. So I just wanted to share it to you guys on how to make this type of stuff. And it's pretty simple. Probably won't even take over five minutes, but with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to Adobe After Effects. And when you go to After Effects, what you want to do is go to a new composition. When you do this, just copy all the settings on my screen. The duration is always up to you guys, but it just doesn't matter to me. I put mine on 10. Um, next thing you want to do is OK. Then you go to File, Import, and then you want to do File. So what I'm going to be picking is the text that I use for this. And I'm going to say Rose 2K. And basically with this text the first thing you want to do is go to layer then you want to auto trace it and hit ok you can go to a fix you can type in saber then bring up saber you're gonna need the saber effect from video copilot to even do this but the preset we're going to be using is going to be their energy preset and the color i'm going to be doing is orange all the colors up to you really so yeah so i'm going to customize this core layer mask and then make sure you copy what i did to this right here which I did put it at transparent. So now that you do this right here, you can probably just lower the core size a little bit, find the right spot for this. Um, probably have mine like right here. So now we do this, the next thing we wanna do is go over to start offset. And when the start offset, what you wanna do is click on the little clock right here. And then once you click on the clock, you wanna set it to 100. Then you just wanna go to the end, it says zero. Now another thing is, if you guys actually just wanted to keep this without all the the clock thing or whatever, you could have did that. But I'm gonna be showing you guys this also, just so it can be helpful in case you guys want to do it. So yeah, now that you did this, you should have something like this look like it's coming in and it's spelling out the letters basically. And it's pretty simple overlay to do. And I know a lot of small YouTube might want some. That's probably why you click on the video to just figure out how to make it. So yeah, it's that simple. Now the next thing we do is go to file. And then go to export and once you go to export you can add it to adobe meteor and code a queue and basically when you look at this screen it might look a little bit complicated but it's actually pretty easy and i know a lot of stuff people be asking is about quick time or whatever but you can do the mp4 one which is um this right here but i would suggest you do quick time because it won't come out as a png if you do mp4 but you won't be able to open the file and look at it if you are on windows so just know that but yeah, GoPro, copy that right there. You can exit out of that. Make sure you have those settings. So now that you have this, you just wanna click on this right here and it's basically gonna set up the thing for you. So as soon as you get done, it'll just appear in your files. Or you can just go to Rose 2K or name whatever you want to. That's what I'm naming this. And basically I'm just gonna hit the play button. Once you hit the play button, it's gonna start rendering. And the reason I did choose Adobe Media and Code Q because it's gonna be way quicker in here and it's also going to be like a the file is going to be less than what it would be if you did it through the other way so yeah all right now that you're done um rendering the shit look like this but don't worry because it's automatically going to be in your file since you did do this thing right here so now that you did that you just want to go in obs little plus symbol media source okay loop browse and i'm already in here but just make sure you pick the correct file and once you do this, you just hit OK, will appears on the screen, and it should look something like this. If this video helped you guys out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and share the video to your friends. So I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end. No, I don't even know what I said there. Hey, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and peace out.